How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome back to another review on the channel. And as you can see today, we do have an end of an era, and it is Frank Ribéry. We're going to review him today and see what he brings to the table on Ultimate Team. So, lads, if you've done Ribéry or anything like that, let me know what you thought of him in the comments section below. As you can see, I've got the loan version simply because... Team of the Season's two days away. He's 700k, but will it be worth it? That's why you get the loan. Try before you buy, lads. Always say that with the loan when it's there and it's available, and you're not too sure on the card, try before you buy. So will this card make me want to buy the card in terms of doing the SPC? Lads, we're going to find out. So if you do enjoy, you know what to do. Bring that hype. Smash that like, unless you're in for a thousand likes for this end of an era. Much requested at Frank Ribery. And if you're new to the channel, drop a subscription and as well. Also subscribe to the second channel which will have a lot of team of season content come out next week or this weekend or Friday or anything like that. Make sure you check out that channel as well. Ribery will be playing Lamb and Cam because in one of those positions I didn't find them very effective whatsoever and there is a reason for that. But lads, let's get into the review. Let's see what he's like. So here we go, and like I've already kind of covered, the price of this card is quite extraordinary. It is 700k on the Xbox and the PlayStation, but if you kind of compare them to like Robin or someone like that, Robin was like close to a million coins, so this guy is a little bit cheaper. He's got five star skills, he's got a four star weak foot as well. The medium to medium work rates are an issue, which I will cover once we do it the gameplay, simply because... He doesn't make runs when he's at cam, no, at lamb, sorry, out on the wing because, you know, as a winger in this game, you need to get him behind defences. Say if you're building the ball up on the right-hand side of the field and then you switch, switch it to the left-hand side of the field, you need that left winger or left cam running in behind the defence. Ribery's standing there with his hands on his hip thing and just pass me the ball, I'll just dribble because he's got sensational dribbling stats, sensational passing stats, exquisite shooting stats and uh, we'll go back to sensational, sensational passing the pace stats as well because just look at these stats I looked at these stats and thought what can improve this card and um, I went dead eye I went dead eye to improve the shooting and passing which is already that great but honestly it is fantastic in terms of jumping for the ball he's not the tallest in the world he is five foot seven he's got 48 jumping and 61 head accuracy he's um he's not gonna fit the meta in terms of those back post headers but what you want to do with these five star skills is do the El Tornado cross that works with this card and if you want to put someone tall at the far post do that but like I said he's not that effective effective as a lamb and that would be the same about Ram as well. So uh, what you want to do is play McCam and Cam he does a really really good job. Out on the wing you'll find him in those kind of positions and having to build up the player from the deep with a 1-2 or something like that and just go on the dribble. This is my first Waka Waka goal of this year by the way. This is the Waka Waka. Look at that man. He's defending one miles. Gets a chance on his weak foot. Puts it in the bottom corner. Love that from Frank Ribery. In terms of the, the, the pros with this card we'll go through it and uh, speak about the stats whilst we do that. The pace he's so quick but not only is he quick off the ball which with 97 acceleration and 96 sprint speed you expect him to be quick on this game he's so fast on the ball he's a speed dribbler on this game he's got 95 agility man 99 balance 98 ball control and 98 dribbling his dribbling is literally immense on this game down to those factors and of course the five star skills four star weak foot does help because you can either take it on his left which is his weak foot or take it on his preferred foot which is the right in terms of that shooting category we'll just run for that right now he's got 94 attack position goes to 99 positioning with a dead eye chem style his movement's not good enough for that. His movement is very, very static on this game. And um, it needs to be spoken about because, honestly, he's one of those players that you pass to and then pass it off or go on the dribble. And I would suggest going the dribble every single time to due to how good his dribbling actually is. And if you get inside the area, just take the strike. Low driven, finesse, normal shots, chip, you name it. Frank Ribery can score. I scored five and five. But again, it's not about his finishing qualities. It's about his movement and getting into those positions that um, we're lacking in that certain situation. So in terms of the finishing, it's 90. Shot power is 88, which is fantastic. Plus 10. Takes it to 98 with a dead eye cam style. Long shots are 85. Bollies are 94. His penalties are 92. In terms of the passing category, as a winger, sensational. As a cam, even bloody better. He's got 95 vision, 90 cross, 93 kicks, 94 short pass, 83 long pass, and 93 curve. And when it comes to the dribbling side of this card, which is another pro of this card, it's the next one I'm going to talk about, lads, it's unbelievable. And the pace in which he dribbles is, is crazy. And I can only kind of compare him to Neymar in that sense on the dribble because 
Nimrod's trouble in this game is very unique, very fast, very quick, all that, and the uh, same can be said about Frank Ribery. So in terms of the dribbling category, it's 95 agility, 99 bounce, I've already been over that. He's got 93 reactions, 98 ball control, 98 dribbling, and 94 composure. Speed dribbler extraordinaire. This guy, he can dribble past the bloody moose. He's crazy on this game. And so I don't know why I said moose. I don't mean the yogurt or anything like that. So I know I like my food from time to time. I'm not meaning the moose like chocolate moose or anything like that. I'm talking about the wildebeest. So in terms of the physicality, I don't like it. I don't like it. And you might be wondering why. His stamina is not an issue. The 86 strength is not that strong. Come on. He's not 86 strength on this game. I used him... He couldn't hold off that many players, but sometimes it allows him to be very, very evasive and jump between challenges. But if he's in a shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder confrontation, unfortunately, with his 86 strength, must reiterate that, he's going to lose the ball, which is crazy, crazy to say. When it comes down to five-star skills, love that about this card. One of the main benefactors with this card. I did a waka waka in this review. I never do that, boys. I don't even know how to do the waka waka. Honestly, I just tried to do a step over. He did a waka waka. I was like, oh yes, come on. And say uh, the four-star weak foot as well, which is fantastic for the card. So um yeah, you don't need to worry about the weak foot or the skill moves in the slightest. When it comes to passing the ball, he's very creative. Even though he got zero assist, his passing was very, very fluid. Uh, Zlatan missed a golden chance for me in order to get him a couple of assists. But uh, yeah, his passing is great. His passing is fantastic. His crossing is um, it's on point. It's just the movement to get in those positions, which is lacking for the card. I just wish, wish he had high to medium work rates. In terms of the finishing, it's... It's sublime. It is sublime. He's got 90 finishing, 99 with a, a dead eye. He's got 98 shot power with a dead eye, 88 in total. And he's got 85 long shots and 94 volleys. So what else do you want from a kind of attacking winger or cam? That is incredible. Fantastic. And of course, the shot power, which is 88. But honestly, you've seen every finish in this review. And they've all been with a hint of power in every single shot. In terms of cons, it is the movement. Not down to his attack and positioning. Down to his work rates. Medium to medium. I don't really like that about any player on this game. Strikers sometimes get away with it. But Cam, centre mid... I don't know. Centre midfield is all right with it. But it's normally the attacking like wingers or cams that do get... Impacted with this and I've got to say he's a better cam than he is on a ram or lamb Which I'm already kind of stated in this review and he said if you want him for the back post meta And this is literally just for that so it's a very minor corner the back post that is he's not gonna be able to win them Simple as put he's not gonna be able to win them He's too small he's got no jumping and he's got no hidden accuracy and so lads Let's get into the overall rating with Frank Ribery because this card is an end game card. It's up there with the end game cards in this game. So all in all, expect a good rating by the way. Lads, Frank Ribery is gonna get the rating. Bayern Munich, end of an era card. Um, yeah, let's just get into it. 9.5 nuts. A great rating for the card. And by the way, if I'm distracted or anything like that, Ajax Spurs just kicked off for the second half and Onana has just made a good save, I do believe so anyways. Um, this tie's nuts. Last night's Champions League was nuts and uh, this tie's nuts as well. It's 3-0 on aggregate to Ajax, Zayic with the goal and Delict with the goal as well. Honestly, Ajax are very, very impressive. Spurs have a corner now, but I'm commenting. Why am I commenting that match? Anyways, 9.5 in total for this card. Very impressed with him. He's sublime in a lot of different senses of the word. He is fantastic. Value for coins, however, 7.8. You might be looking at that and saying, for an end game card, 700k isn't too bad. It's not, but honestly, 700k, this close to team of the season, there's going to be so many great left wingers released during team of the season. You bet your house on it. Honestly, I think Hazard's a shoe in. You've got um, other people. <laughs> Neymar might get in there. Who knows, lads? He's something like the, the player of the year or something in the league on. So, um, yeah, you're going to have a lot of good left wingers in this game come the next couple of weeks. So, um, yeah, just wait for that, honestly. Um, you do get good packs back. That, that's one thing. You get good packs, a great player, and for 700k, it's actually not too bad, but um, <laughs> for me, it's it's not that much value for coins. 7.8 isn't a bad rating, by the way. If you think that I'm critiquing that in uh, certain ways, 7.8 is a very good rating. In terms of enjoyment, 9.0. Why is it so low in terms of like other like five star skills, four star weak foot players, exciting dribblers and whatnot? Simply because. He doesn't do enough on the pitch to get into positions, which again, it comes down to his work rate and movements, which just isn't that great on this game. Put chance rating, 
Starter for me. You need to start this card should you get him. Don't start him out wide. Start him in the center. And uh, I'll just leave it at that. In terms of perfect links, you've got a couple at Bayern Munich. You've got Talisu, which would be the perfect link because the center mid, Frank Ribéry, is a left mid. Otherwise, you've got an other like, left wing, left mid, left forward in Kingsley Coleman. In terms of strong links, you've got any Frenchman within uh, the Bundesliga. You've got, Upa, uh, how do you say his name? I think it's Upa Meccano in terms of the center back, the future Star Warner. You've got Lendowski, any Bayern Munich player, for example, gives him a strong link. And you've got the French icons as well, Thierry Henry. Uh, for example, and in terms of the weak links, anyone from Bundesliga, as I not French, not from Bayern Munich, um, Timo Werner. Timo Werner would be a good one. And uh, anyone that's French outside the league. So Paul Pogba, Kylian Mbappe, and uh, Griezmann, for example. So in terms of similar players, Neymar, Ronaldinho, I put Mbappe in there as well, but I've got Nani in there as well because they are very quick dribblers on this game. And I need to stress, this card's dribbling technique is nuts. It seems quite unique, but it is very similar to Neymar's technique on this game. And when it comes to the key pros, the speed dribble, the key con is the movements, work rates, work rates, work rates, work rates. Honestly, I said stay forward on him. He didn't really stay forward in terms of being on the wing. At Cam, he tended to stay forward, but as a wing, he kept tracking back and defending the fullbacks and whatnot, which sometimes you do want, sometimes you don't want. And in terms of best camps, that will be dead eye, as you can see. Lads, look at the rain per position, man. 97 all across the bar, the board. It is nuts. Absolutely nuts. And in terms of the best snap position within the Bundesliga, Ribéry leads the way. Ribéry, then Alfonso Davies, Bailey comes in number three, probably just walked my dog up saying that, Nabry comes in number four, and in the French nationality, or French national team, or French nation, whatever you do want to say, Mbappé, still for me, is above this card. Mbappé's for birthday card, 91 rated, is uh, more kind of meta on this game than Frank Ribéry. Ribéry comes in number two, Thierry Henry at number three, and Dembele comes in number four, and Ron Perez bringing up the rear at number five. And in terms of the passing category, the shooting category, physical and dribbling categories, in terms of that, out of 10, passing, eight out of 10, sensational passer of the ball in this game, and um, definitely, definitely amongst the best passes in terms of what I've used with that rating so far. Physical, six. And you might be wondering, he's got strength, he's got stamina, what else do you want? In the physical category, there's jumping. Not good enough. And the strength, it doesn't speak volumes in game to be 86. I don't trust that stat in the slightest. I really, really don't. In terms of shooting, he's getting an 8 out of 10. Fantastic shooting on this game. And in terms of the dribbling, he's a tremendous dribbler. I just wish he'd get into more kind of spaces to, to utilize the dribble more often. He's getting a 9 out of 10 in that category. And lads, that's where we're going to end the second review of the day. If you missed the first one, go back, watch that. The link is at the end of the video. I do believe so anyways. But anyways, lads, if you do enjoy or you did enjoy, smash a like on the review. That would be very much appreciated. Um, this review should be out after this Ajax Spurs game, which, again, is another Champions League cracker as of right now. Um, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed. Smash a like if you have. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Team of the season is literally two days away. I can't wait. Lads. I will catch you all next time.